Coming up this week on The Choice. I'm getting ready for my goat hunt out with Randy Routier in northwest South Dakota. Freddie and the posse hunted with him last year. Went out there, had a great hunt on the water holes, the water hole of death, Freddie calls it. This year they've got poured rains. We have got more rain this year than in history in, in, as far as where we're at here in Illinois. <clears throat> so these goats might be on fence crosses and everything else. I might be spotting and stalking. Who knows what's going to happen? And we're going to see what we can do. The choice begins right now. Welcome to this week's choice. This week, you're not going to want to miss it. Miss is a, a very pungent yes. word for this. Yes, show. the guys, a bunch of posse are going out. To a tier out there. Yes. Yep. In South Dakota, where you can actually go on a combo hunt where you, you rifle hunt your antelope and then you could bull hunt mule deer or whitetails. That's kind of cool. It really is. It is. But with this weather, we wanted to go to somewhere warm. Yeah. So let's no join the guys yeah. on and an early with season. This week's lucky logo. Is, is a, a mare step. A so mare step. Watch for the mare step logo and cool let's just get here. going into, into Joe's hunt. Joe, big Joey. Yeah. Okay. Big Joey. Big Warm weather. Yeah. Hot. Hot. Not like around here. No snow. Look at this. No frost. Did you see that? It just comes Vicky, flying. you're flaking huh? again. <laughs> you're kind of a flake. <laughs> Sure, bucks in this field. These guys just came in with that little one. A few minutes, just like I don't know, a minute ago. Yeah, it came in at 76 yards. I think it's killing me. This wide open country is tough. Water holes are not doing any good. It's been 54 degrees to 80 degrees. We're supposed to get in the high 90s today. You can see I'm still in my hoodie, though. It hasn't warmed up yet. I'm telling you, he's got the goats. Just this weather has just. One of the things you need to deal with, especially early season antelope hunting, is if you get hit with rain, it's going to create a lot of issues for those antelope focusing on one type of water hole. And when that hits, I'm going to tell you, it makes it real tough. And if it's early season, no decoying working, you're in for long sits and a lot of times not real productive ones. With all that hard work, Joe, don't blow the shot. Are you on him? No. Where am I? So I'm going to turn the key. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. God, he's legit. Give it to me now. Go. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's how fast it 
saw horns coming up over the grass, grabbed everything, started getting things ready to roll, not knowing what's going to happen. They ran in, first good buck ran by, and then the other ones uh, came in behind it, and the good one gave me a slight window, we tried to make it work, but that's the way it works. Maybe they'll come back. Now don't go away, because when we come back from commercial break, Pat McKenna from Ameristep is going to try getting his first speed goat out there with Retiro Outfitting. Welcome back to the choice. <laughs> Missed me! Oh yeah? Let's get into Pat's hunt. War. This is war. Gotcha that time. Oh, is it cold? Well, we're on our fourth day out at uh, uh, with Randy Rotier at Rotier Outfitters. And uh, Marv and I have decided to uh, set a new blind up. So we brought the Choice blind out here and uh, up the ridge a little bit. The antelope were running this ridge a lot yesterday, so we thought we'd set the blind up here. Um, my God, we've been seeing just a ton of antelope every day, uh, averaging at least 60 of them in this field every day. So we just feel we gotta get to the right spot. Um, so we're gonna, we got her all set up. We're gonna uh, get our stuff, get it inside. We can already see a couple antelope uh, moving into the field already. That's a ton of one. Let me do a yank. They make this great and pee and crap mark. You got dumped on literally, Pat. <laughs> we finally got one in a decent bow range. And uh, he looked like, I mean, he's perfectly broadside. Anyways, I caught part of the blind. That arrow jumped real high and went over his back. Uh, you know, we've been here for, with Randy uh, Rotier at outfitting for four days now. And, uh, you know, the plan was to hunt the water holes and we, that kind of got messed up because all the water. So we've been on these alfalfa fields. And it's been so tough to get these things uh, into range. And, uh, you know, got a shot off, but it's, the good thing was it's clean mess. He's still just walking down the hill right there. So we still probably got a couple hours of light. So we'll set back down in the blind and see, uh, see what we're gonna do. Well, Gary's up on his combo hunt where you can, like we said, you can he's rifle got rifle, hunt rifle tags for his for antelope, antelope and, and then bow tags. Bow hunt. Yep. yep. You got snow on you. So let's see what happens with Gary's antelope hunt. Kind of snow. Oh, you still well, got snow back. Oh. It went down my back. That wasn't even me. We got one more chance, just as always. There's a group up over the hill here. Uh, to be honest, I got a doe and a buck tag. So uh, this we should be able to get pretty close on this. If we got a good buck in there, we'll take him. Otherwise, I think we'll probably fill my doe tag now. Let's go. Well, the 
the good news is they're all coming towards us. Strike one, two, three, you're out of here. Oh my gosh, don't go anywhere. You gotta see if Gary can actually connect. If somebody can connect. I know, my gosh, oh, jeez. Welcome back to the choice, okay. Now, Gary, wait, how does that work? You miss him and they come closer. I know, we just gotta watch, maybe he can break the streak. Well, he should, they're coming closer. Well, they gotta see the footage before they know that. Does, does Gary wear glasses? Got her? You got her? I'm on the front line. Got her. Did I get her? down. She's down. There we go. After one miss, I wasn't real sure what was going to happen there. We got her. She's down. And we put in a lot of shoe leather just to get that one. Now it's time to go after a buck. We'll go wrap her up get her in the truck, go after one more, film my buck tag too. Where'd he go? Yay, finally someone hit something they were shooting at. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Put her right where it belongs. Oh. We're here hunting with uh, Ranger Retour here in South Dakota. We have been chasing goats the last couple days. We're not sitting in a blind or anything. We're out there spotting, stalking them. Randy knows what he's doing. If he tells you to go somewhere and set up, he knows. Thanks a lot, guys. This is my first antelope. Now I'm gonna go out and look for a buck to match. Well, Gary got his doe. Yay! Now, now let's see if he gets his buck. Buck and doe. He's got a buck tag. Do we have any, have any money? Tag and yeah, buck two bucks. Roll the footage. This will be the closest way you get to an angel, Vic. <laughs> good job, good job. That worked out to a T. Oh, we were worried there for a while. Oh. oh, my first antelope buck here in South Dakota. Randy, Lori, all you here at Rotier Outfitters, I can't thank you guys enough. This is pretty exciting hunting. We come out, I wasn't really sure what to expect, but I tell you what, these guys get you excited for the whitetail rut. They are bumping the younger ones out. They're keeping their does to themselves. The rut tears for these is over, but oh, we had a blast chasing them. Oh, look at him, nice dark face. Uh, Vicki and Ralph, thank you so much for uh, sending me out here. I really appreciate it. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to hunt antelope, and I finally got my chance to do it. Thanks, guys. Congratulations, Gary, on filling both those antelope tags. Yeah, now you don't want to go anywhere because now it's time for him to go on that deer hunt, the bow the, archery. The archery. Let's see how he can do. He's doing good so far. Lots of arrows, big quivers. Welcome back to the choice. Now let's see if Gary's as good with his bow as he is with his, with TC? his TC. Let's see, how good are you? Are you good? Did you have a good fall? <laughs> 
<laughs> You're lucky that branch was big, woman. I know. This morning we're hunting for deer. What we're doing is we're sitting up on a high vantage point. There's a hay field down below that the deer are filtering out of. We've got at least 50 deer coming out of that field. They're going to come up through these draws. We're going to try to pick ourselves out a nice buck, get around in front of them, and ambush them. We're sitting up here. We got TP rings down in the valley. It really makes you think that we're not the first guys to think of this. We've been up here this morning glassing. And we kind of got... <clears throat> choices to make. We got four deer back here in the valley behind us kind of coming up this draw to, to bed down. There's one definite shooter in that and then a smaller buck. Back over here off this hill we've got a shooter buck down with a bunch of does. And over here we've got the big boy. There's another shooter buck with him plus some does. And our problem right now is just trying to figure out what's going on. So we're going to sit and be patient a little bit or try to figure out a plan to go get those guys, one or the other. But uh, good Lord, it's a good situation to be in, I'll tell you that. I told Scott I was cursed before we got up on top of this hill. I told him, I said, every year I miss the first deer that I shoot at. And he said, that door antelope the other day with the rifle, does that count? And I said, I sure hope so. Evidently not. Yeah, why, why couldn't they just, you know, walk around? Just like we planned. No, no. Let's bail off over the side. I'm never gonna let this stuff down. That's okay. I'll keep trying. <laughs> I'm out of breath. I'm so excited. Let's see what we got. Got some skid marks here. Watch out. Oh, there we go. There we go. Right here. Oh yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Just just shattered it completely. Look. See, that's exactly what I was aiming for, that little piece of wood down there. Now, it's not much to eat, but I tell you what, it's exactly what I was going for. Look at that. Opened up right on impact, not even scathed. Just knock the dust out and go right back at it. Sharpen her up. Oh, yeah. I guess there's kind of a lot of, a lot of dust in that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, what could we say? You have Joe. Pat, Gary, and all missing. Gary twice. Glasses. Yeah. But then Gary finally does put yeah. the clothes on it. He did. Yep. He, he did. did. I, I give him that credit. You know, like we told you, you don't want to miss the show because there was nothing missing going on already. If you happen to see the Ameristep logo, go to thechoicetv.com, check on the lucky logo little button there, and let us know where you saw it. And someone's going to get some goodies. That's for sure. Yeah. And once again, thanks for making your choice. The choice. See you next week. Bye. See ya.